The most prominent differences between RLS and traditional spelling lie in how the vowels are spelled and pronounced. RLS assigns one short pronunciation and one long pronunciation to each of the five conventional vowel letters, A, E, I, O, and U. Two additional vowel letters, ash and schwa, are each given a short pronunciation only. How do you know whether a conventional vowel letter should be pronounced as long or short? The rule is very simple. If it's immediately followed by a consonant, it's short. If it's at the end of a word or immediately followed by another vowel, it's long. If you're wondering what you're supposed to do if you need a long vowel before a consonant, we'll get to that soon. For now, let's go over what the respective short and long pronunciations of each vowel actually are. The short vowels are shown in the following words. Put, pet, pit, pot, put, pat, protect. The long vowels are demonstrated in these words, spelled here according to our P. Pa, per, P, poor, poo. Notice especially how put is spelled with an A instead of a U, and how pat is spelled with an ash instead of an A. Remember, PAT is a golfing term, not something you might do to your dog's head. What you might do to your dog's head is instead spelled P -ash -t. Some of the long vowels may take some getting used to as well. Listen to them all again, this time with descriptions of what the target words actually mean. PA spells PA, a regional alternative to DAD. P spells PER, the sound a cat makes when it's content. PI spells P, a tiny globular vegetable. PO spells paw, the foot of many mammal species. PU spells poo, as in Winnie the Pooh. As for the two unconventional vowel letters, a useful word to remember their pronunciations is apple, which contains them both in consecutive syllables with no other vowels. Here are some more examples. Raw, bottle, could, fluid, react, litter, spa. Mother. The first vowel in each word is color coded, red for short, green for long. But wait. If mother is spelled as shown, then how is father spelled? The only possible way seems to be to swap out the M for an F. There is no other letter we can use for that first vowel sound, and all phonemes after it are identical between the two words. However, the letter A is still before a consonant and therefore still short. This would compel us to pronounce it father, but father does not rhyme with mother. We need the A to be long, despite immediately preceding a consonant. The solution is to place an upward slanting stroke, called an acute accent, over the A to signal an exemption from the regular effect of the consonant to its immediate right. In other words, an acute accent lengthens any vowel that would otherwise be short. Consider the following pairs of words. Bin versus bean, cot versus caught, wed versus word, pole versus pool. The reverse scenario is much rarer, but it does happen. When a vowel which would otherwise be long needs to be short, a downward slanting stroke, called a grave accent, must be used. If you want to express indifference, you might write meh. And if you want to mock a stupid person, you might write da. Let's try a few more examples, including a couple of complete sentences. First, we have the following words. Automatic, beautiful, spars, cleaner, worthy. Next, we have the following sentences. He swam in the deep end of the pool. We want to come with you because we're a team. Congratulations! You've just completed the first lesson in this tutorial. The remaining three will cover the diphthongs, rotics, and consonants. I hope you're intrigued by what you've learned so far.